Um, and what do you see are the major benefits to a company who does integrate ESG well into their business? I think it adds to your investor profile. I mean, it's become a bit of a cliche, but some are coming to say that, you know, your ESG rating, um, there are a number of ESG ratings agencies, which uh, unfortunately for many businesses use different methodologies. So if you do one thing one way for, for one of them, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll get a good grade from the other. But people are increasingly saying that your ESG rating is as important as your um, credit rating. So in terms of your overall investor profile, it's clearly important. I think secondly, it will enable you to diversify your shareholder base. It will uh, mean that you can tap into ESG and sustainable fund flows in a way that you weren't able to before. On the debt side, you may be able to borrow more cheaply because you can access the green bond market and therefore perhaps get better interest rates on your debt. Um, it is also a big um, a lightning rod for talent acquisition, you know, for, for younger generations leaving um, higher education institutions looking for a career. Um, a company with a good ESG profile matters. You know, uh, we know that this whole ESG space before the pandemic, uh, but continued to be the case during it and will be so after, has been very much powered by the demographic change that millennials have brought to the table. And, you know, the millennial members of high net worth families that hold so many assets are saying, look, to the mum and dad in the family, I, I want us to see a good return from our family's investments. So I want value, but I want our values as a family reflected in that um, too. So what we're seeing at the moment, depending where you take your figures, is a $30 trillion asset transfer from the baby boomer, boomers to millennials. Um, and you see that reflected in the ability to attract talent. If you've got a poor ESG profile, you're not going to be able to attract the best and brightest minds um, that there are. And I suppose the final thing I would say that I, I really do believe it gives you the ability to distinguish and differentiate yourself in your particular sector, because, uh, you know, in the main, most companies are not where they would like to be um, on the whole gamut of ESG issues. Um, so there are very clear benefits. And I have to say, Hester, actually, one of the things that slightly amuses me is how these things are often referred to as non-financial reporting requirements or non-financial issues. Now, it's true. In the short term, it's not the same as your, your EBITDA, your revenue, your, you know, your profit per, per share ratio and all the rest of it. But the, the long and the short of it is it, this is a deeply finan 